We want the power. Give us the power. In today's video, we're going to be talking about where the cast of the epic Charm TV show are today. 22 years ago, one of the most captivating drama series was released, which had the entire world bewitched for eight straight years, before it came to an end in 2006. It tells a story of three sisters known as the Charmdoids, who were one of the most powerful good witches of all time. They used their power to do good and protect the world from demons and warlocks, and were even more powerful when they used their combined power of three. The show follows how the sisters live life in modern-day San Francisco and the daily struggle to hide their supernatural abilities and fit into normal society. The series was so popular, garnering over 7.7 .7 million viewers with its pilot. After several awards and nominations and even a cult following, the show has earned a reboot series that started airing in 2018. In this video, we are going to be looking at the lives of the members of the cast of this amazing series and what they've been up to since the show ended 14 years ago. Make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any juicy gist. Grab a drink and let's get right into the video. Dorian Gregory Dorian Gregory was cast as Daryl Morris, Andy Trudeau's partner and best friend, and also a lieutenant at the San Francisco Police Department. I'm not sure what you could have done anyway. He's not letting any of the hostages go and SWAT's ready to move in. He was always suspicious of the sisters and their connection to several mysterious murders and crimes. But in season two, the sisters reveal their powers to him, telling him that they are good witches, trying to bring peace and balance to the world. Since then, he had supported them and granted them favors with his office. He also helped them cover up crimes related to demonic activity, and their families grew very close. After starring in Charmed, Gregory enjoyed some success in mainstream television, appearing in other shows like NCIS, Getting Played, Las Vegas, and Showstoppers. Before taking a huge break from acting, in 2016, he returned in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where he played the role of the commanding officer in a single episode. He is also hosting talk shows and events now, and has hosted several, including Soul Train, which ended in 2006, Life on the Road with Mr. and Mr. Brown, and is currently the executive producer for American Soul. He is an advocate for several causes, including diabetes, which he himself suffers from, and AIDS. He also started a career as a poet and has two works under his name. Rose McGowan. McGowan was cast as Paige Matthews. Candle. The long lost half sister who was introduced in season four to take the place of Prue after she was killed by Shax, a demonic assassin that was sent by the source of all evil. She took Pierre's place in the power of three and received the power to teleport things by commanding them. She later received the power of sensing and healing. McGowan starred in the 2011 film Conan the Barbarian, alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger, and in the 2014 film series Chosen. She also appeared in 50 Dead Men Walking and played the role of Kelly Johansson in the Canadian psychological thriller The Sound. She has changed her look since we last saw her in Charm, and now rocks a pixie cut that actually looks good on her. She has been in the news a lot lately for some questionable takes she had on really sensitive issues, like the one time she generalized gay men as misogynistic and incurred the wrath of the entire LGBTQ community. Alyssa Milano Milano played the role of Phoebe Hallowell. Thank you. Who had the power to see into the past and the future. Because her power is kind of passive, she later learned martial arts so she could help her sisters better in battle. She was the youngest sister until Paige came along. Aside from being an actress, Milano has appeared in pictorials for Premiere, Celebrity Skin, High Society, and Playboy. She has also been featured on the covers of magazines like Cosmopolitan, Seventeen, Stuff, Woman's World, and several others. She's also appeared in a few commercials and was a spokesperson for Sheer Cover Cosmetics. In the past recent years, she has been married once and has been in several other relationships. She is currently married to David Bogliari and together they have a son and a daughter. They live in New Jersey. Holly Marie Combs Combs starred in the show as Piper Hallowell. Is that too much? The second eldest sister with the power to freeze her environment. As the series goes on, she gains the power to cause people or objects to explode and worked as a chef and manager for a restaurant named Quake. 
She later marries her love interest, a guardian angel named Leah Wyatt, and together they had two children. After Charmed, Combs was able to land a major role in Pretty Little Liars, where she played Ella Montgomery for the first three seasons, appearing as a guest star in three others. She also started a reality TV show with her co-star, Shannon Doherty, titled Off the Map with Shannon and Haley. In 2016, she started dating a restaurateur named Mike Ryan, and they got married in September 2019. She must really have a thing for restaurants to marry a restaurateur after managing one in Charmed. Shannon Doherty. Doherty was cast as Prue Hallowell. My name? Uh, Prue, Prue, Prue Hallowell. The eldest of the Hallowell daughter, who died in season three. She had the power to move objects with her mind and later received the power of astral projection, which allows her to be in two places at the same time. She is the most powerful of the Howell sisters and Paige had a hard time filling in for her at the power of three. In 2008, Dougherty joined the cast of Beverly Hills, where she received $40,000 to $50,000 per episode and starred alongside Dylan McDermott in Burning Palms. While on the cast of Beverly Hills, she gained a reputation for her gross misconduct which went as far as fighting her co-stars, partying indiscriminately, even at the detriment of her job, and on set lateness. Darren Starr and Charles Rawson, producers that she has worked with, confirmed that she was incredibly difficult to work with, and she had a callous attitude towards most things. She took responsibility for her actions, blaming it on pressures of fame and personal problems. She was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in 1999 and breast cancer in 2015. Even after a mastectomy, the cancer proved to be more advanced than anyone thought. And in February 2020, she revealed that the cancer had returned in 2019, and she is now in stage four. We hope she beats the cancer. There you have it, the charmed cast then and now. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. If you like this video, remember to hit the like and subscribe button and hang around for some more amazing stuff from us. See you in the next one.